Hello everyone and today we're going to be taking pictures of Batman because Batman is not photographed enough. So today we're just going to be going around taking pictures of Batman using the camera feature and basically just getting some cool photos. And here we are at the top of Wayne Enterprises. So you might be thinking, hmm, well why am I, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Well I've noticed that a lot of games have this thing called a camera feature that is usually using these buttons. Ah, it's usually the, 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 these buttons and you press, press them down at the same time and you usually get a camera mode. And I just kind of want to explore a lot of different games with their camera modes because it's very interesting to me. I actually really enjoy it. In fact, this is what we're going to do. At the end of this video, I will give each game a score rating on how good they are as, uh, as um, camera modes in video games starting with batman because i'm in a batman mood so here we go so what features have we got well we've got a zoom mode that's great and we've got a tilt mode that too is a tilt mode <laughs> there's not really much to say on a tilt mode they're pretty basic actually one thing i want to try out how far away can i get oh okay i can get that far away oh but i can't really get out of the batman's sight if that makes sense so that might be a drawback. We can only get pictures of the Batman, but that's probably what we'll want anyway. Especially since I have completed the game, so there are no main missions to do, so there are, there's not really anyone else. It's got a depth of field, that's always cool. Let's see how far that gets. That definitely does the job. And how's the focusing? Right, I haven't a clue. I haven't the foggiest if anything's in focus. Especially because I'm streaming it through another device. So it's playing on my Xbox, but it's converting onto here through companion console. So it might look terrible and well, that's definitely out of focus. That looks pretty in focus though. I think that's that's in focus. So the background there, as you can see, that's pretty cool. The focusing is pretty good. I just would like uh, something to know where the focus literally is. Um, if you don't know what that's called, it's called peaking. If you go on your camera, go into settings and find a, a, a peaking setting, that just shows you where your focus is. My camera does it, I'm sure the cameras do it. Ah, brightness. Oh, I don't know if that looks great. That looks really grainy. Really grainy. And that looks grainy too. In fact, it all looks grainy, so who cares? Who cares? It's... I've never liked filters. Especially since these just be colour grading ones. Oh, okay, you get vignette. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. I don't like using that. If I'm going if I'm gonna put these in Lightroom, I'm gonna add it, so I'll add it in there. And I'll show you before and after. Ah, the, the bars. See, these look cool, but not cool at the same time. That looks pretty cool. But we ain't using these. This is probably yeah, this is where things will get cinematic. Um but that's it i don't really like having these now mostly because it doesn't actually crop the image it just gives it a black bar i think so there's no point in it oh you get an intensity that's also pretty boring actually no that could be kind of cool let's see it with that one yeah that could look kind of cool um so that's that get the little label we'll turn that off because if people can't get that this is batman what so this is going to be our first picture and they said photoshop then let's get another let's get another picture where should we go i mean we've already got one like that let's have i'll tell you what might be a cool shot is if we get this um there seems to be a lot of neon in this uh, gotham so if we can get a point like a, a straight street um and then the neon signs and then we just have batman walking down it that might be cool that might be cool Look at these. Are there any bad guys here? Yes, there are. Oh, ooh, there's, there's that. Okay, so we need to be kind of in one side of the street. This light could look cool if it's going to reflect on his suit. Maybe. Okay, so we want to get him walking. To get him walking, we just need to walk. So I don't know what could be cool here. See, what you want to do... If you want to have a look at parallel lines, uh, these here is parallel lines, kind of, uh, or leading lines, I guess. Uh, do we want it zoomed out? I think that looks a bit, maybe a bit bizarre. Do we want it zoomed in? That looks like it's zoomed in. Or do we just want to go... 
So we're going to go from here and then we're going to increase this to about 50. I don't know any better way to do this than go backwards and steadily see where things are. So you can tell, see I'm looking at the, um, the reflections in the light right now to tell if it's in focus or not. That's what I'm doing. Do you want it on a Dutch tilt? Yeah, sure. I can see a car. Maybe we should do some Batmobile stuff. Oh, this might be cool. Oh, see what I mean? I'm, I'm moving it, but that's not moving. That's great. Okay. Let's try do one of these. So whilst he's gliding, we'll find a good place. I think the best place to do these are in front of massive signs. I don't like that. Let's try to do it in front of that Gotham sign unless there's something else I can see. See, the problem is I don't think there's enough light there. And that is my problem. Um, let us find, let us go to one of those really, really bright buildings. Here. So here we are. The idea is if we do it in front of this blue bit or green, I guess, green, greeny blue, um, you'll see, you'll see it more. So hopefully that'll work. Yeah, no, wrong place, wrong place. Cause although it's bright enough, the background looks terrible. Oh, this will do too. There we go. Oh, Batman's disappeared. I think what you kind of want to do is, I like that. I like that. I like that. So I'm just going to blow out the background, mostly because it probably needs to be in this case. So we're going to get one shot with the Batmobile and then we're going to be good. We're just going to get a cool place. Actually, I know where I want to go. If you want me to do one of these and then show you how I edit them in Lightroom, I can. Then there we go. And I've thought of one more, but it involves just getting ran over. There you go. I need you guys to get out your car. No, get get out get out your car. No, get out your car. So I'm just gonna wait here for a car to attack me. I'll be oh, okay. There's a car here. Oh, okay. Batman got attacked. But here's the thing, right? Here's oh, okay. They've ruined it. They've ruined the thing. They've ruined it. I'll be back when I get the thing that I was looking for. Okay, I decided I couldn't be bothered. And instead, I'm going to try to do it here. So the idea was... Oh, this car's just... Oh, there's another car. Okay, this is not what I had planned for. For some reason, this game is amazing with lighting and flares and different types of flares and stuff. As you can see here, the light just really moves. And you know what? Because I cannot be bothered to try run around getting hit by cars in real life or in a video game, I am just going to uh, just do what I can get here and get some JJ Abram lens flare. So there we go. Honestly, I don't know what I've given this one. It's pretty basic. Let's give it a rating out of ten. I'll give it. I'll give it a good old. Because I don't know where the, the distance is for the focus. I, I wasn't too into the, the colours. The lighting is difficult. Uh, the, the other problem... Oh, and it doesn't leave the Batman. And you can't get rid of the Batman. And you usually want the Batman, but like not always. Because sometimes you just want to get the villain. Or some random thing on the wall. Sometimes you can get it, but other times you can't. It usually wants you to focus on the Batman. Which is understandable, but fair enough. It's just a criticism. Um, apart from that, I hope you enjoyed, I'll give the outro thing for the, I'll give a montage of the clips and then I'll see you in another video, goodbye.